Hi there everybody, welcome back. This is Orange Hedgehog 2012 and uh, yeah, in this video today I'm going to be doing a plush review on this play-by-play -play, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Abomination. This is actually a legit plush, so I believe. Um, this originated in Spain from one of the Sega... I don't know if it was a Sega arcade back in the day, not 100% sure, but... Um, yeah, let's say we dig further into this plush and I'll show you guys what it's like. So there's not really that much information about this plush. Uh, you can probably find some information on a uh, Sonic Gear. Um, yeah, I came across this plush on eBay um, a long time ago, probably about five, five odd years ago or so, probably uh, more than that. I saw it and I was quite intrigued by it, um, so I decided to pick it up. Um, it wasn't that expensive as well, and uh, yeah, no wonder I was the only person that bidded on this um, unique plush, shall we, shall we say. Yeah, as you can see, it's not the best looking plush at all. It looks a very bootleg. But um, yeah, I've been told that this is actually um, an official plush. Um, yeah, if you do know more information about this uh, guy here, this thing, uh, feel, uh, you know, feel free to leave a comment down below. But um, uh, for some, some people, they've told me that this is actually an official plush. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, but it's quite an interesting plush nonetheless. So I'll be going into um, details about height, obviously the fabric that's made from, uh, the features, and yeah, what um, makes this plush so unique. So without further ado, what say we get stuck in? So this fella measures 11 inches in height, between 11 to 12 inches I would say. You can just about see there. So yeah, quite a nice uh, sized plush there. Uh, this was released in 2001, which I believe is the same year as uh, Sonic Adventure. Do correct me if I'm wrong, um, I can't quite remember. Um, yeah, so um, what can I say about this plush? Well, um, first off, it doesn't look that attractive to be honest. Um, but I find it quite quirky and quite unique to be honest. Um, a lot of people probably wouldn't touch this at all because it looks very like uh, unofficial and stuff and definitely looking at the tag. I thought originally the tag was um, yeah, completely um, unofficial because the quality doesn't look fantastic. But um, let me know guys if you think this is an original. Um, if not then obviously let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. So starting off at the top, Sonic's quite large bulbous head and um, the features are just wow, unbelievable. The eyes are made of very cheap plastic and as you can see, not fantastic. The actual uh, transfers to his eyes, the actual, um, yeah, the transfers themselves are completely in inaccurate. I mean, apart from the green, but the actual black um it looks really weird it's almost like he's got green um eyelids and as you can see well i've tried to i can't remember if actually i think when i originally did get this guy it did have some scratches very similar to the sonic adventure um neutral child plush that is very um renowned for getting very easily scratched and this is what's happened to my sonic but it's still nice to actually have um most of the actual transfer to his eyes you can see his nose the nose the way it's been made as you can see you can see the stitching it's absolutely god awful the way he's been um, constructed if you're actually watching this video and you do actually have this plush then let me know I'd love to um, to hear your uh, your side of the story how you came about this plush and uh, what you personally think of it so the actual um, fabric that Sonic's made from, it's a very light uh, sort of blue. It is coming up a lot darker on camera, but in person it looks um, very light and sort of almost like faded in a way. It's got that sort of contrast where you move the fabric. Well, actually pretty much not, not that much to be honest because 
I've noticed when you sort of, especially this side, it's a lot darker compared to this side, which is a lot lighter. The ears, the actually, the ears themselves have been nicely constructed. The actual colour is a lot darker. I mean, including this, um, his muzzle, his arms, and his stomach. It's made from a much darker, almost like sandy, um, sort of colour, very similar to um, shadow. You can see the white. Um, it's made from the same sort of uh, soft plush sort of fabric the only thing good about this plush is the actual body it's actually made from quite nice sort of material you can see his um his mouth really weird mouth is made with um, black sort of thread material and it's that sort of material as you can see it's sort of like um uh, sort of like coming away almost like fraying in a way there is some detail to show he does have like a brow and he's been very personally very overly stuffed especially around his stomach which I'll get to in a moment um, the actual quills look very supersonic-ish and um, very much like um, shadows he does actually have three either side why should I take that back he has three on one side yeah three on the other one top and two at the actual um, bottom. So moving down to his stomach, his very bulbous stomach. My God, he looks pregnant. Or he's eating way too many chili dogs. I mean, look at that. Oh my God. The profile on that, it looks like he's ready to burst. Far too much stuffing has been put in that and he's been given like a very cartoony sort of uh, belly button. Used with the same sort of thread material. As you can see, there's some loose stitching there. His arms and the actual. Um, it's really interesting. It's almost like he's given the uh, classic sort of rock sort of um, hand sort of gesture there. The actual fabric of the white. His. Um, it's it's quite nice actually. It's um, it feels nice and soft. And the actual um, the shape and the way that he's been made. It's actually quite interesting. You can see the actual, um, it's been stitched there and also the other side. But it's really weird though, but quite interesting nonetheless. As you can see the other side, um, it includes his tag. I believe this is the actual uh, original tag. And as you can see, it's sporting the very classic, it's got supersonic. I've just noticed that. I did not notice that until now it actually says supersonic uh say so it's like the hedgehog very retro and at the bottom it's got japanese writing which i assume it means um sonic the hedgehog possibly not entirely sure you've got the sega logo and in the background you've obviously got some pastel sort of colors pink like a pinky red and um, blue you've got obviously the uh, pecky and um, I'm not totally sure what the other sort of characters are and then obviously you've got Robotnik in the the background there the actual tag itself though the colors I mean it probably might be due to age and a bit sun bleached but um, the tag does not look fantastic it almost looks like someone's taken the original uh, Sega Sonic tag and just like photocopied it and at the back, you can definitely tell this is not the actual Japanese version. You've got the Sega Sonic the Hedgehog logo, and in Japanese, and you've got copyright Sega 2001, and um, not to three uh, European uh, standard CE made in China, and you've got Play by Play, which is um, based in Spain. So I believe this is uh, this company is Spanish. Um, but a lot of the bootleggers have used play-by-play uh, -play as um, the basis for their, yeah, their toys. But it does have a mahusive, quite a long touch tag. As you can see, it, ha it sports all the same sort of gump, really, as you find on the actual paper tag, the address of the, uh, the actual company, and where it's got play-by-play, -play, it's got Toys and Novelties Europe SA. They do novelty toys. You've got a Sega logo, 2001, and then Sega, and same again, two, I believe that's 2000, yeah, 2001. 
So let's move down to his legs. The legs are quite nice and long actually. You can see his shoes. It's a bit difficult to get him all in camera. But as you can see they've done the same sort of style for his socks. The same uh, for his wrists. You can see his shoes. Now the actual soles of his shoes are in purple. I have no idea why they decided to do that. And you've got some uh, blue threading material that's sort of loose there. Now that at the back, that looks very similar to, I can't remember actually, the Sonic Adventure 2 Sonic. I don't think he has. No, I don't think he has. I don't know why they've actually decided to include that, that there. But as you can see, he does have um, a shoe strap and a buckle. The actual strap itself, you can get your fingers under there. Just about, I don't want to actually break the actual plush, but um, the actual strap it does the buckle. I mean, sorry, the actual buckle does have light thready material, you can just about see there by my thumb. But the actual fabric ex itself, it, it is cheap, cheap and cheerful, but um, it's quite nice and soft. And same again for the other side with shoe design, it's quite nicely designed as well to be honest and um, yeah if I turn around on his um, his back you can see the back wheels yeah the back wheel design down here especially does not look fantastic they've used the same uh, fabric obviously without any stuffing his tail the back of his legs you can see his bum I've noticed I've just noticed on mine you can see the actual threading Material is coming away. There's a hole there, so it's not a fantastic um, plush. It's quite sort of yeah, a novelty sort of plush, cheap and cheerful. But I'm um, quite an interesting plush nonetheless. But yeah, that's about it really. That's uh, just my showcase and review on this really unusual um, play by play um, Sonic the Hedgehog plush. Apparently. Uh, Supersonic there from Orange Hedgehog 2012 just showing you a bit of unusual um, plush merchandise there so I hope you've enjoyed that guys and um, thanks a lot guys for watching and always take care of yourselves and I will see you again soon thanks for watching bye